Good day, fellow hunters. This is uh, Jared O'Lantern here with another prop review video for you. Um, today I am reviewing the uh, pumpkin groundbreaker from Spirit Halloween. Um, I got this um, mainly because I'm going to be doing kind of like a twist on the uh, the graveyard scene that um, you know it's been done a lot. I did it the last couple years, so I wanted to kind of switch it up, and um, I'm going to, instead of doing just a graveyard with zombies and tombstones, I'm going to do more of like a haunted pumpkin patch, and um, so in an effort to get a lot of uh, witch props this year, I also wanted to get a lot of uh, pumpkin and jack-o'-lantern props, and I had seen this uh, prop uh, on the Spirit website at the beginning of the season, and uh, I thought the price was decent, and it looked pretty cool, and um, it definitely fit the theme that I was going for. And um, I had only seen one review. Excuse me, sorry. I had only seen one review um, on the uh, Spirit website, and you know those reviews, the star ratings upon first glance can uh, really give you a negative reaction or response to whether you want to buy a prop or not uh, because this guy had only been given uh, two stars and so I thought that was kind of on the uh, negative side obviously um, but then I actually read the review and that particular there was only one review and that particular review was more about the paint job I guess um, they just uh, made mention that there was orange um, painted in places where it shouldn't have been orange. So I didn't think it was that big of a deal. So I went ahead for, you know, 25 bucks. You know, it wasn't going to, you know, I wasn't going to break the bank or anything. So um, let's go ahead and open it up and see uh, what it's all about. So just uh, popping open the box here. And it looks like we have the... Uh, the two stakes required to go into the ground and let me just lift this off uh, I believe that's just styrofoam padding to protect the uh, stem of the pumpkin and, oh, it opens this way and there he is in there and really cool design I like the uh, the detail on the sides of the boxes and let's see if he's oh, no, he's not strapped down he's, Pulls out, I hope. So there he is. I don't think the paint job's that bad. And it looks like his arms are still in there. So let's go ahead and grab those. So there are all the pieces right there. You have the Jack Lantern itself, and the arms, and the sticks. So very basic prop. Um, I could see, you know, some of the complaints uh, that that particular review had about paint job is definitely not as accurate as it is on the box. Um, but you know, as you can see up here, it's not one solid color. But I mean, I don't, I don't think that really warrants a, a two-star review. I think that's just a, it's a minor complaint. Um, it's lightweight. It's not, it's not heavy at all. It's hollow plastic. Um, but pretty creepy for uh, creepy face. So let's go ahead and insert the arms into the sides of the head, and uh, let's see uh, what it looks like. So as you can see here, the. Uh, the arms simply just twist into the sides. The uh, tip of the arm is way bigger than the hole itself, so you really have to kind of jam it in there. Um, but I think that adds to the uh, security so it doesn't uh, wobble or anything. So uh, I have the right one in, I'm going to put the left one in. So there it is, you guys. There is the pumpkin groundbreaker. Um, the I obviously I didn't put the lawn stakes in yet. 
um, because I'm not putting it into the lawn just yet. Um, you know, I think doubled with some lighting uh, and maybe even fog, I think this would be a pretty cool little prop. Um, it's uh, from the bottom of the arms to the top of the stem. Um, I would say he's probably about hmm, 20, 22 inches tall. Um, you know, it's not a it's not an amazing prop. It's not it's not something that I would recommend everybody go out and get immediately. Um, but if you are collecting jack o' lantern props like I am this year, I would definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, I think that you you know you could do whatever you want with this. You can um, even put it like on the backside of a fence or something. It doesn't necessarily have to come out of the ground. Um, and I think even putting it high up might give it some height. Um, you could just make it, you know, I had even thought about putting it on a, uh, uh, like a dummy body to make it look like he's just lifting his head off of his body. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a groundbreaker. And like I said, it's, it's light, it's lightweight enough that you could really, you know, do whatever you want with it. Um, you know, you could even put it on like the opposite side of a fence and that could have like a comical effect as well. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pleased with it. I'm glad I got it. Like I said, with the 20% off coupon it was, and tax, it was, you know, like, I think it was like 26, 27 bucks. Um, yeah, so scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a 6. It's a cool prop. It's a decent prop. It's not, you know, have to go get. It's not a must have. Um, but it's a good addition if you are, like I said, collecting uh, jack o' lanterns. And uh, yeah, so go check it out. Um, cheap prop, um, seemingly well made. Again, referring back to the review on Spirit's website. Um, paint job could be a little more detailed, I guess, but, you know, if I were to give a review on Spirit, I definitely wouldn't give it two stars for that. I would probably give it four stars. Um, so yeah, there it is, the Pumpkin Groundbreaker, Spirit Halloween. Okay, if you guys like what you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, happy haunting.